about a game. It's a red skin. subscribing my name is Tierra aka exclusive edition today you guys I'm gonna do a little bit of a haul it's been a long 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 time since I've done a haul however like everybody else y'all I have been doing some COVID shopping and honestly a lot more than what I should have been doing but it is what it is we don't have anything to do but sit in the house and shop therefore um I'm actually not going to be able to show you everything just because I've kind of come to the, the, the uh, I've kind of come to the conclusion on my channel that I don't want to always reveal every single thing that I have. So, I'm just going to show you 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 or 7 to 8 items, y'all, um that I've bought. And so, um a lot of it is luxury a lot of it a lot of it is unexpected for me just because kind of you know gotten into a new realm as far as fashion goes and if um, you are an OG here you guys know this is new for me this hair honey y'all know I went from bald to braids blame it on COVID because you know not being able to get out and be around people I wasn't able to get a haircut so I just let my hair grow and this is where these braids came from. So, um, I'm loving it. Let me know what you guys think. And as usual, y'all, I'm sorry. It's been a long time since I filmed. And I just, I'm not in the groove. My mind is everywhere. I've been doing homework all day. I just actually got out of class. I was like, ooh, there's a little bit of daytime left. Let me try to get out here in nature. Because, obviously, we haven't been able to get outside that much. So, I've been trying to spend all my little time outside, y'all. So I just decided to do this outside. So uh, bear with me. This is going to be, you know, <laughs> almost like a rough draft because I have just I haven't been here in a while and I haven't been in front of the camera um, for a sit down video. I've done a lot of vlogging or whatever, but uh, sit down videos. I'm, I'm rusty, y'all. Excuse me. I'm just I'm rusty. It is what it is. Okay, you guys. I don't know where to start, but I'm not going to go in any particular order. So the first thing that I did acquire, and this is actually fitting that this is the first thing that I show you guys, because this was one of the first things that I bought um, while in isolation. Um, obviously, this is the MM Agenda, Agenda Planner from Louis Vuitton. It is pre-loved. It's about five years old. However, look how uh, great of condition it's in. It is already filled. Um, now, you guys... <laughs> Call it an impulse buy. Call it what you want. My thing is, I've always wanted this, and I'm not even a planner. I literally bought this, and I haven't written anything in this at all. Not one thing. So you're probably like, well, why is it filled? Because I didn't fill it. <laughs> the lady that um, sold this to me, because I actually bought this off of Craigslist, you guys. You know me. If you know my channel, you know I love a good deal. You know I love to find just deals all day long and this was a steal this was uh 335 she shipped it to me and she was so nice that she left it already filled so it's like literally laid out the way that she had used it she left me a little note basically saying thank you and then she hopes that i enjoy but just look how cute it is it's kind of like already filled out as far as setup and honestly it's a shame that i don't use it because it probably would be beneficial so i plan to get my life together at some point as you know my life is resembling 2020 it is in shambles um so literally it sits on my dresser as of now the year will probably be gone before i even get to use it but i'm very happy to have this because you know it's louis vuitton it's timeless and i got it for a steal so, word of advice, if you want something, just be patient. It'll come to you, especially if you're waiting for, like, a deal like I do. Or you can be a stalker like me and stalk, you know, 
pre-love sites like, um, you know, just any pre-love site as far as Poshmark. I even, you know, look at like Offer Up and um, obviously Craigslist, but you must know what you're doing as far as authenticity. So uh, be aware of that. So guys, I guess we'll stay in the theme of Louis Vuitton. This is kind of going to be like an unboxing. So me and Babe's anniversary just passed on May 20th. We've been together for two years. We had both been spending lots of money, like I said, due to COVID. And we just said, you know what, we want to keep it really low-key this year. It's really only our second year. We're not going to go too extravagant. So this actually wasn't even a planned purchase. Um, we had planned something else to purchase, which we did purchase. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, but we popped into Louis Vuitton, like, the first two or three days that they were open and they had you know all the proper protocols in place so I felt good they were only letting you know people in one at a time with their essay you couldn't wander the store unless your essay was wandering with you so I felt very safe to go in it's been over three weeks now so you know I didn't catch anything I don't have any symptoms so it's perfectly fine but we both end up getting something and it actually started with babe seeing something that he could not resist which I encouraged him to get um, <laughs> because it was rare so um, I will actually insert the picture of what he got because I don't have it with me he would not let me keep it here y'all for the unboxing because mm, it's his baby Louie so it's at home with him but I will show you guys mine it comes in this very very nice dust bag it's like a I don't know is this velvet <laughs> it's really nice it's not like that usual material that they have and it's nothing extravagant, you guys, but it is something that I have mentioned that I wanted on my channel. And it's just this. I believe it's the Lock Me bracelet or the double, I don't know, I'm not sure. I'll put the name of it on the screen, but um, I've been wanting this bracelet for a while and I just decided to take advantage. So I was in the store and we bought it. It still has the plastic on here. Um, I love it. It is kind of like two bracelets in one. It has the, you know, the brass detailing. It has the lock with the LV logo on it. It's so cute. So cute. I hope you guys can see that. But, um, yeah, so I already own this one. I forgot the name of this one. I think it's the Nano something. Once again, I'll put the name on the screen. Um, and I kind of wear it in a nice little stack. And I have this to add to it. So, like I said, I will actually insert a picture of Babe's um, bracelet. Now, his bracelet, she said that there were maybe only two or three left. It is actually um, the bracelet that was in collaboration with Virgil Abloh. So, I have to believe it's his handwriting, writing Louis Vuitton on the bracelet. Um, and Babe loved it. He loved the silver and the black combo and... Just the fact that it was rare, you know, at the time. And that um, not a lot of people really owned that, I don't think. I can't remember how she explained it. But um, she had ordered it in for somebody else who eventually didn't end up coming to get it because they found one in California. So that one was left at the store. And so she tried it on Babe and he was able to fit it. So I was like, Babe, go ahead and get it. So, um he wouldn't let me walk out of the store without getting something, too, because he said, if I'm going to get something, you're going to get something. I said, say less. <laughs> and this is what I end up getting, y'all. So that is item number two. Um, let me go ahead and show you guys item number three. Now, this item may surprise you because I think I've told you on this channel, I am not a tennis shoe person. Um, at least I wasn't. Um, babe is a tennis shoe fanatic. He loves shoes, hats, accessories. Um, and we kind of agreed to get this shoe. We both loved it. It is our very first pair. <coughs> Excuse me, allergies. Um, it is our very first pair of Yeezys. So it came in this box. Now, guys, I will tell you, on the sizing, I was very, very scared. I kept going back and forth. I was watching YouTube videos. I didn't know what size to order just because my feet run funny anyway. And in Adidas, I wear like a five and a half in kids or possibly a seven in women's. It literally just depends on the shoe. 
Um, and so this is like a men's shoe. And so I didn't know how to order. I didn't know if I should order in my regular men's sizes, which is like a six, five and a half, maybe six. But they said that these run small, so order size up. So I took the chance of um, ordering a six and a half. And honestly, they fit perfect. I'm going to show you them. We just got the Earth, the Yeezy Boost. I think they're like the v2 earth y'all i kept reading about how comfortable these were and these people are not lying these are so comfortable i've never worn anything as comfortable in my life me and babe wore once he has a matching pair and like i said um this was all that we were going to get ourselves for our anniversary we had already been spending money you know, we were trying to put ourselves on Van Island, and then we came across these. It was between these and the Desert Sage, which I will insert a picture of those, which we probably will end up getting those at some point. We love those, too. But I just really like the fact that these are neutral. Um, they look better on to me. They're very, very comfortable. They're durable. These actually were... I want to say for me they were $330 or $325 or something. Um, we did get them from StockX, so they are authentic and verified. Um, and Babe got his, his for cheaper than mine, and that just is because uh, my size is more popular than his. So obviously it's more expensive. So that is my first pair of Yeezys, you guys. Not to say that it's my last. But I have really been in an active wear, um, lounge wear type of mood ever since nursing school, to be honest. I haven't really gotten dressed up like I usually do just because I'm doing a lot of things. We're tired. Comfort is key, you know. And um, this is what it looks like. I was so happy to get those, you guys. So that was our little anniversary gift. Um, just Louis Vuitton and some uh, Yeezys. And while we're on Adidas, let's hit you guys with these. Um, I got this, these literally the weekend before everything was shut down. That's how I remember. Um, these are kind of, you know, unconventional. But me and both, me and Bay both saw this and we were like, yeah, you know, go for it. <laughs> Something different. Guys, look how cute these are. They're just like a pair of dad sandals, which if you know about fashion, they are very much on trend. And these sandals were so cute. The thing that we liked most about them is they had this white toe for a contrast. And they have the three stripes in the back. Um, I got these in a size seven. Like I said, my feet weren't really funny. So these are actually a size seven in women. These are so cute. I think these were about 40 to $45. Babe was like, get them. And like I said, of course, say less. Don't tell me to get something because I'm going to get it. But, uh, y'all, these are comfortable. And what I've come to know about Adidas is that they are just a super comfortable brand. I recently just bought some Adidas leggings um, for a deal. And I, I, I've worn them twice already. And I've only had them for maybe, maybe it's been two weeks or so. I don't know. But I've worn them a lot maybe more than twice and they are so comfortable everything adidas makes is just comfortable i have two other pair of tennis shoes that i bought back in february just the basic black and the basic white pair they are actually comfortable and i just adidas i'm, I'm a fan me and babe are both fans we've bought a ton of adidas things in the last two to three months also so it's almost like nike doesn't exist because adidas has everything to us you guys so these are these and i think they're so cute i just paired them with um I think just my Adidas leggings when I wore these. But they can go with a lot. They can go with shorts. They can go with dresses. They are so comfortable. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but they also have the Adidas logo imprinted in the sole. So cute, y'all. I love those. Okay, let's make this the last pair of shoes. So, you guys know. I don't know if it's because of COVID. Well, I'm pretty much sure it's because of COVID. Everybody and their mother has been having sales. And, I mean, some sales you just you can't resist. I mean, you know I love a deal anyway. So, if I see a sale, it's, it's a must. Um, this is the first time that I've actually ordered an espadrille, period. I'm not really an espadrille girl. 
At least I didn't think I was. Um, and because of that, I have not invested in like any high end espadrilles as far as like Chanel um, or YSL or anything. However, when I saw the price on these, y'all, first of all, let me do this the correct way. Let me show you guys the box. Tory Birch. They have been having amazing sales, y'all. And some of this stuff I've worn, some of it I haven't. These I've not worn. I was going to take them out to wear one day, but they didn't exactly match my outfit the way that I wanted them to. So I put them back in the box. And of course, I'm one of those people when I put it back in the box, I put it back all just like the way it came. So I'm kind of particular like that for the most part. But y'all, these are so dope to me. The color combo is sick. And this really can be a summer or fall shoe. I would say probably mostly fall, but I'm going to rock them this summer, too. Look how cute these are. Oh, my goodness. The splash of green and the navy blue together. These are so cute, you guys. I love these. I don't know how I'm going to wear this. I just love the stitching on the sides. This is a size 7. Um, Toy Birch is another brand that my feet run funny in. Um, I literally lucked up on these fitting because they didn't have a size 8. And I thought I would take a size 8 because I normally am. But all they had left was a 7. And I was like, the deal is so good. I'll just try them. And if they don't fit, I'll send them back. But once I tried them on, the 7 was a perfect fit. So, I mean, to me, I mean obviously it was meant for me right but y'all this is so cute oh look at it, it matches the green background oh <laughs> it's made for nature <laughs> but yeah y'all look how cute these are how would y'all wear these just like with jeans jean shorts i keep envisioning myself with the white summer dress but i i just don't see this really going with the white summer dress and like unless i have like I don't know, like a blue or green head wrap on or something, y'all. Just give me some suggestions. How do y'all think I should wear these? I don't know. Okay, guys, we are down to our last two items. That went by quick. So, all right, you guys. The infamous blue bag is next. So the same day that me and Babe popped into Louis Vuitton, um, we popped over to Tiffany because it's right across the hall. And um, fun fact, right before COVID shut everything down, me and Babe were ring shopping because we are talking marriage. And just to see what type of rings I like. So he was like, Babe, let's go to Tiffany and look at rings. <sighs> Say less. I keep <laughs> <laughs> yes, excellent. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, when babe suggests something, say less. So we went in there just looking, and to be honest, Tiffany is not my vibe. It's a little bit too traditional. I like a little more jazzy. So um, we were in there just perusing, and uh, the first thing that we got was this, which is literally nothing, y'all. It's just a book. believe in love so it's just a book which would be cute for a coffee book it just has you know rings in it um i actually haven't even flipped through this book that's honestly how uninterested i am they're gorgeous but for the price i just mm -mm, i just don't see me really liking anything they're cute but a little too too traditional i'm not that traditional girl so it just has, you know, pictures of rings and jewelry, gorgeous stuff. So she gave us a bag for that. And then the big item is something that I've been wanting for probably a year, a year and a half. It does come wrapped in this box with a ribbon that I have not taken off yet. I almost don't even want to unbox it. It's just so pretty, you guys. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Hold on. I got I to gotta stop and take a picture of this.
later that same evening. Shout out the ghetto, honey. The ghetto, baby. Okay. I'm back. As I was saying, you guys. So we're just going to do a little unboxing. And like I said, this is something that I wanted for like a year, year and a half maybe. Um, I don't know whose channel I saw it on first. Or if I even saw it on a channel. I don't know. But we popped in, you guys. And we got this. Can you guess what it is? Let me be careful. God forbid, honey, that I break this. It's going to be a hot mess, y'all. You guys. It is <laughs> the Tiffany wine glass. This is a red wine glass, but I'm gonna drink white wine out of it. I don't really drink red red wine, but this is so cute, you guys. Why must one have a Tiffany wine glass? I don't know, but isn't it cute? Can you guys see that? So that's all it is, you guys. Just a wine glass. I will not be using it anytime soon. I plan on busting this out when me and babe get our new home. So this will be sitting in the repertoire for a while. If I can get it back in. There we go. All right, you guys. <sighs> Thank you for sticking around for this long. I have one more item. As you guys can see, the sun is quickly trying to set and rain on my parade. So let me get myself together. Now, this last item I consider an investment. Um, it's considered luxury of the technology world, but I have literally seen a difference um, just in me being able to do my homework. Uh, especially since everything is online I've seen a difference in my videos because I have software that I need um, shout out also to Kiko Beauty um, when I got this she gave me some tips on how to make my YouTube uh, videos better I'm trying to you know take this time to invest in myself and work on my hobby which is YouTube and crank out a little bit more videos um, up my editing and she gave me some really really useful tips so just shout out to you know uh, black people period during this time that are sharing secrets uplifting one another wanting to see you know uh, everybody win that's my attitude you know all year round all my life but to run to somebody that you know uh, does the same it was just a blessing um, but I said all that to say that you guys I got a new laptop yay i already got a cover for it, which i got from amazon and just a protective cover on the back but um i'm very very late to the game i have never really been an apple fan until my uh institution where i attend school gave us an ipad to work with and it was challenging at first but i loved it and then i went ahead and invested in an iphone fell in love with it and so it was time to get a new computer I haven't had one basically the whole time that I was in nursing school I was using my iPad and I was like you know what's here it's time to get you a computer and so I took a poll because at first I was going to get a MacBook Air and everybody was like no not even everybody my 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 boyfriend was like babe you're not a Mac Pro Air girl you know I mean you're not a Mac Air girl go ahead and get the Pro you know you like the biggest and the best and plus it does what you need as far as editing so um, I invested in that, and it has been a life changer. I am very, very excited. I'm still learning it. I just love how everything meshes together, my iPhone, my MacBook, and then my iPad. Um, Y'all, I grew up in the age where, you know, computers were just now coming out. I remember playing, like, Oregon Trail. <laughs> um, so I was, like, right on that cusp of being computer illiterate to just now um, grasping the concept of computers. And so... 
technology is not my strong point, but I have to say this MacBook makes it very easy and cohesive. And like I said, I'm still discovering features that um, I didn't even know existed on it. So it has been very, very, very handy, you guys. So, you guys, that is the end of my video. That is about seven to eight things that I've gotten um, during this lockdown. Uh, I have a lot more, but I'm just not really willing to show everything. And plus, I don't have time, y'all. I still have homework to do. I just wanted to squeeze this video in. And I just thank you guys for sticking with me. Hopefully, I plan to crank out more content. Nursing school still has my full attention. Um, but I'm still trying to get better and use my time a little bit more wisely since we are all still in isolation and or the world is opening up slowly um so thank you to you new subscribers that are here you guys that have stuck around for this crazy two to three years that i've been on youtube with hardly no content i thank you my life just got really really busy i'm trying to amp it up and i hope you will stick with me and like i always say um guys be an exclusive addition to someone's life